Praise be to God, we are starting a new series called The Mark of the High Calling, and I will be sharing this teaching series under four or five different topics. I know this would be helpful to many of you, so please do share this with your friends, your family, your colleagues, so that each and every one of you can be blessed. You know, the aim of this series, Mark of the High Calling, is to help you recognize what you are called for and what you are called into. It will help encourage you to seek after God and to run after Him with all of your strength. It is to move out of being mediocre, out of a place of complacency, and to come into what you have been called to be. It is to teach you to reach into yourself and pull out the best version of yourself that God has called you to be. Now, this will help inspire you, my brother, my sister, to go beyond the ordinary, to push boundaries, to reach your full potential. You see, a lot of our talents and our abilities are hidden away inside us unless we are taught and encouraged to reveal it. You know, many of us don't know and definitely don't even understand what we are capable of unless we are thrown into a particular situation. You know, many of us are afraid of water. However, only if we fall into it will we even attempt to survive and swim. But we can go beyond and enjoy the water and the beauty that is in the depths of the water. Similarly, many of us have hidden talents and capabilities that sometimes only problems or different situations in our lives will bring out. So what is the mark of the high call? It is a call from destiny to achieve greatness in a particular Field. The call is for everyone and ev every one of us. It is a call for everyone who is willing to pay the price. You will see all over the Bible heroes of faith who stepped up and answered the call of destiny. Abraham rose up to find the real living God. Moses heeded the call of God's children and brought them out of bondage. Joshua rose up to lead God's people into the promised land. Peter, an ordinary fisherman, rose up to be the head of the churches worldwide. Most importantly, Jesus the man, he himself had to rise up to the challenge destiny had for him. You know, each and every one of them rose up to make a difference in the lives of their people and in the nations that they lived in. Similarly, the mark of the high call is not just for people who believe and follow the word of God. It is for anyone and for everyone. It is universal. The mark of the high call exists among political leaders of nations, in the field of medicine, in the field of sports, and in businesses, and so on and so forth. The foundation scripture that is spoken by Apostle Paul, as he says in the book of Philippians chapter 3, verses 12, 13, and 14, I will be reading the NIV version for your convenience. Not that I have already obtained all this, or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Now let me read the King James Version because that's where the word is important for us. Verse 12 says, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I followed after that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in 
Christ Jesus. So the mark of the high call is a standard that you and I must attain to or achieve. It is a move from the ordinary to the extraordinary. It is a move from mediocrity to perfection. It is a move to bring change in society. It is a passion to move into higher levels of everyday things. It is an achievement that you and others thought not possible. The higher standard is for you and for everyone within your household. You see, there are many, many pitfalls that stop us in our goal towards the mark of the high call. There are distractions. There is lack of motivation. There are elusive goals, lack of cooperation, and different kinds of hurdles. My brother, my sister, all these are part and parcel in the quest for the mark of the high call. You may be asking me, what do I need to do to learn to achieve the mark of the high call in my life? My brother, my sister, if you will join me through these teachings and be patient and learn as much as you can, it will immensely help you to reach the mark of the high call and the reward that is attached to the high call. So join me as we move to the LAAW program, which is Leadership, Attitude, Authority, and Word. It's the law program, as I like to call it. So join me, and we will work towards this, and we will go on to the mark of the high call. Thank you, and amen.